Hi. I'm going to try to use my computer to do this video of um, how to find the answer after you have used the pegboard to square a um, larger number. So in my first video, I made the pattern of the square of 246. So I did 246 times 246. And I will show you that here on our pegboard. That's what it looks like. And oops, <laughs> you can see that I have two hundreds, four tens, six units times two hundreds, four tens, and six units. And then after we fill in all of the um, squares and rectangles, this is the pattern that it makes. Now I'm going to show you how to find what the answer is. So what is 246 squared? How do we find that answer? And this is what we do to find that out. I will move these old numerals out of the way. Okay, let's see. I cannot see the camera, so I don't know what this looks like. I hope that it turns out. All right, so when we first find out our answer, what we do is we take our pegs and we can put them in a peg cup here so that we don't have to put them in the holes because that's time consuming. Because I want to exchange. Anytime we get up to 10, we are going to exchange. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, oops, seven, eight, nine, ten. What do we do when we get to 10? We always, always, always exchange. So 10 of those is the same as one of these. 10 greens is the same as one blue. Two, four, six, eight, ten. And one blue. Two, four, six, eight. So far I've exchanged 30 unit beads. So I'm gonna put my answer here. My answer in units will be six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Here is what we exchanged. Okay, can you see that? All right, let's continue. So now I wanna find out what is my answer in tens. Two, four, six, eight, ten. And tens is the same as 100. And I can go ahead and pull these two if I want to. But these are a nice neat groups of two, so I'm just going to keep going. Two, four, six, eight, ten. One of those is the same as one of those. Two, four, six, eight, ten. I can do both this rectangle and this rectangle because they're part of the same um, category. Two, four, six, eight, ten. And tens equals 100. Two, four, six, eight, ten. I know I'm going to need to exchange again. Two, four, six, eight, ten. And my answer in tens will be 110. But I have all these hundreds. Let's just get those out of the way. I'll go ahead and get those out of the way. Two, four, Five, six, eight, ten. I like to do them in groups of two. Ten one hundreds is the same as one thousand. Two, four, six, eight, ten. 
and hundreds is the same as 1,000. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Ten hundreds is the same as one thousand. Oops. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Ten hundreds is the same as one thousand. And look, I have five hundreds left. That will be my answer in hundreds. So I will put them here on my answer portion, okay? Now it's time to exchange our thousands. So we're back to green. Two, four, oops, six, eight, ten. Ten thousands is the same as one ten thousand. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Oh, sometimes we have this happen. We have no thousands in our answer. And all we have left are ten thousands. I can see that they are not going to add up to 10, so I don't need to exchange them. I'm going to just put them right here. My students like to leave this blank to show that we have no thousands, which is fine. That seems like a fine idea. And here we are. Our answer is one, two, three, four, five, six, sixty thousand. 60,000. And there's nothing here, so I wouldn't say like 62,000 or 64,000. Nope, just 60,000. 516. Because a 10 and 6 units is 16, right? So let's say that again. 60,516. So 246 squared is equal to 60,516. And that's how we do squaring with the pegboard.